So while we're while we're um, just starting things off, let's let's do a little very gentle physical warm up. First thing we're going to do is we're just going to move our head from side to side, and as usual, make sure that you really feel a nice stretch on the side of your neck. Try and extend slightly further each time, and as you do that, hold for a little longer as you go across. So you're just gently showing your body that there is a little bit of extension, but it's not something to be worried about. Good, and now chin onto the sternum. Just let it hang there for a little bit. And you should feel a nice stretch in the back of your neck, up to your shoulders. Good. And just let it roll side to side gently for a little bit while you're there. Very gently, don't start doing hairography now. And then chin up to the ceiling, keeping your neck long as you do it, don't scrunch. Keep your neck nice and long. Close your mouth. And you should feel a lovely stretch on the front. Mmm, that's so nice. Back down again. Roll around slightly. Mouth open up to the ceiling. <laughs> Close the mouth. And you should feel a wonderful stretch down the front of your throat. Okay. Good stuff. We can also do a little side to side. So opposite hand onto your opposite side of your head. Yes, good stuff. This hand goes down to the floor as you pull your head to the side. Just with the weight of your arm, you don't have to pull, don't make your arm work any more than that. Just the weight of your hand, pulling your head to the side and you should feel a lovely gorgeous stretch going along the shoulder and up to the earlobe. Stretchy earlobes is a thing. Other side. And this hand goes down to the floor. Parallel to the floor makes that stretch just a little bit more exquisite. Exquisite agony. <laughs> <laughs> okay, release, adjust the hair, <laughs> just give yourself a little mobilize. Good, bring the shoulders, get the shoulders involved, roll them around a little bit. <clears throat> Good, forwards and back, forwards and back. And just put your shoulder to one side, so remember it's extend your left arm, put your right elbow inside your left elbow, and then curl your left arm around your right arm. That's the one, that's the one, Sue. Yes, that's it. That's it. <laughs> it takes me a while to work Sue it. Sue is the human <laughs> pretzel. Trudy is making Talia Telly over there. I can't quite figure out what she's doing. <laughs> <laughs> and the other side. So this time you're extending your right arm and your left arm goes into the elbow. And then you extend your right arm over. Sorry, you, you, you flex your right arm over your left. <laughs> what? I'm not doing <laughs> Okay, good. Just roll them around a little bit. <laughs> and give yourself a hug. Nice deep breath in and exhale out. <sighs> One more of those in. And out. <sighs> and swap the arms around. And out. Good. 
That should be nice and relaxed, I think. No. You're just going to start focusing a little bit on the muscles just below the sternum. So you're just going to go. Okay, go for it. And you can also go. Very good. You can also go. Very nice, Trudy. That was fabulous. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Keep the consonant buzzing. If you're, not being, if you're not being picked up on the on the microphone. It's because you're not doing it quite voiced enough. Trudy's doing a marvelous job there. So. Oh, good. Um, Keep keep going, everybody else. Let's try a few more of those. Zzz, 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 zzz. On that on that note, I'm going to mute you now, uh, so we can we can actually mute, uh, so we can stop making a noise without causing too much hilarity. Okay, you got it. <laughs> right. The next thing we're going to do is just a little. So along the same lines as what we've just been doing with those muscles, there. Zzz, zzz, zzz. I'm going to go. Zzz. Can you hear me okay? And Last one. Finding that hard to do or are you okay with it? It's good. I think most of you have had enough experience with me now to know how that one goes. Um, one more of those. And good. Very good. We're going to change the sound. Now we're going onto a vu. So, and it'll go vu. So, okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, we're also just going to do a little scale. You're going to go. All the time all the time that we're doing these exercises, I want you to be thinking about that little zone below the sternum, just there, that little fleshy bit. For some of us, it's fleshier than others, but that bit there, that's where the sound, that's where your energy is coming from. The breath is going even lower than that. It's going right to the bottom, bottom ribs, but that's where the onset of your sound is coming from, that little spot. So, last one. Okay, feeling warmish? Great. We'll just do one other little thing, which is our, um, um, and we'll, we'll, instead of I sigh as I sing, which is a nice relaxing one, and we're trying to energize everybody a little bit this morning, because or this afternoon, because um, if you're feeling like me today with the heavy skies, then you might be feeling a little bit lethargic. So we're going to go too far to the bar. Too far to the bar, too far to the bar, too far to the 
bar, too far to the bar, too far to the bar, too far to the bar, too far to the bar. Don't reach the top note with your eyebrows too much. Um, particularly looking at you, Dave, Dave Marie, Dave. Um, <laughs> you grew three inches when you sang that note. Um, but if that's from bunch, uh, bum clenching, then that's all right. That's, that's okay. So too far to the bar, ah, to the bar. <laughs> Fantastic stuff. Uh, at least it means the energy is coming from the right place. That's a good thing. Okay, so um, we're going to look at a couple of new songs. Although, um, having said that, um, the sheet music for the one song which um, Sue Thurlow suggested for us, which is the, the Kinks song, only arrived this morning. So um, I haven't actually had a chance to look at it in advance. Uh, so we might only have a little... I might, what I might do actually is play it and share that with you, the recording with you, rather than um, trying to teach it because I don't know it well enough um, without the sheet music. Uh, and I, it's, I have had a little look at it and it's quite complex actually. So, um, so we'll just have a little play. I'm definitely not taking the blame for that song at all. Um, it's, it's, um, it's a Sue teacher's pet, deducted points for difficult song. Um, <laughs> but I think perhaps it would be good to revisit some of the songs we started last week. So we're going to start with The Last Rose of Summer. Rose of summer left blooming ground. All her lovely companions are Yeah. 
this bleak world alone. Okay. All right. It's a little bit, little bit sad. The nice thing about this song is that it requires quite a bit of breath control. Those phrases are long. Are you finding that? A couple of places. No. And the other thing that's quite interesting is that the octave jump is in the middle of the phrase. So it's not like ba 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 ba. It's da 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 So it's not like you can energize the beginning of the phrase or the end of the phrase. You have to energize the middle particularly and then sustain yourself for the rest of the phrase are you finding that hard to do or is that something you're oh i'm getting big nods so would you mind in that case if we just actually spent a little bit of time thinking about how we place our breath there so just the first line we'll work on that for now so Tis the last rose of summer Okay, and then you can take a breath. Left blooming alone. Okay, so it's not as it's not as hard as is all that, but the main thing is that you have to anticipate that jump in the middle. And I'd like it, when you're doing the jump, think down into your pelvis. Think, tis the last rose of summer. Yes, that'll help with the air, air control too. Rather than, if you squeeze too much on the top note, then like an accordion, you've got no more air left. Um, for the last half of the phrase. So think about that as sustaining the breath slightly. Can we try that again? So one, two. Tis the last rose of summer. Left blooming okay now the other one um the other phrase that i think is quite hard is this is sort of the second half of the line so no flower of the kindred no rose but is not but really let that float don't don't um belt that out to think of the sound as being withdrawn and coming back into your head and being filed for future reference rather than being broadcast so i like to think of a line of music as kind of coming out of the mouth and then on these sort of phrases where you're where you're holding back that the, the line is being retreated and reeled back in reeling in the line so i think i'm calling you a bunch of fish but anyway you're not just just fish you're m s line court fish <laughs> um so here we go so this is no her flower of her kindred one two no flower of the kindred, no rose bud is nigh. Yeah? Did you all manage to reel that in rather than nah? Because it isn't, it's not that. Yeah? It's a lovely little little buttoning up and zipping up and making a little posy out of the thing at the end. So I think those are the two the two problem areas really. 
Um, should we just do, just do verse three? <clears throat> so soon from there. So one, two. So soon may I follow when friendships decay. And from, sorry, and from love shining circles, the gems drop away. When true hearts withered and fond ones are Oh, who would inhabit this bleak world? Oh, who would inhabit this bleak world? Bit more manageable now in terms of breath control. Okay, good. Good stuff. Next up, we're going to do all summer long. One, two, three, four. Sitting in my car outside your heart. Remember when we spilled coke all over your blood? T-shirts, car dogs, and a barrel thong. Oh, we've been having fun all summer long. Oh, summer long, be with me. I can't get you out of my head. No, those aren't the words. I can't see enough from you. <laughs> okay, so one, two, three. Oh, summer long, be with me. I can't see enough from you. Oh, summer long, we've both been free. Won't you? Won't be long till summer time is through. And then we go back to Minter Golf and Hunton in the hills. When you rode that horse, we got a thrill. But every now and then. Hear our song. Oh, we've been having fun all summer long. We've been having fun all summer long. We've been having fun all summer long. We'll do that again. Okay, let's look at verse two. A little scannage issue there. So um, you, you kind of have to get miniature rather than just miniature. You've got miniature. It's almost as if there isn't an extra. In fact, you might even have an apostrophe in for miniature. Did I write in an apostrophe? I can't remember now. Yeah, because it's I still want it to sound, but I don't want it to I don't want it to be too strong. So it's miniature. Miniature golf and hunting in the hills. 
when we rode that horse, we got a thrill. And there's the, that's such a sexy note, that thrill. And then you go back to every now and then a hell of song. Oh, we've been having fun all summer long. Okay, let's try that again. So from the beginning, so Minshir, Golf, and Hunting. So from the beginning of verse two. One, two, three, four. Minshir, Golf, and Hunting in the hills. But when we rode that horse, we got a thrill. And now and then we hear our song. Oh, we've been having fun all summer long. We've been having fun all summer long. We've been having fun all summer long. Good. One of the other bits that I think is quite a tricky little moment is from all summer long we've both been, um, you've been with me, I can't see enough of you. All summer long we've both been free, won't you, won't be long till summer time is through. At the moment, won't be long till summer time is through. Nice little chords going on there as well, underneath. So let's do that little section. Uh, so it's from all summer long, we've both been free. Then you go, won't be long till summer time is through. But not for us now. That's me trying to sound cool. I'm the, the least cool person in the world. Um, I'm so cool, it's icy. Um, so, let's go from all summer long. One, two, three. All summer long we've been with me, I can't see enough of you. All summer long we've been free, won't be long till summer time is through. And then you go back to Miniature golf and hunting in the hills. When we rode that horse, we got a thrill. Every now and then we hear our song. Oh, we've been having fun all summer long. We've been having fun all summer long. We've been having fun all summer long. Okay. And while we were singing that, suddenly the sun's come out rather nicely over here in Collier's Wood. The sun shines on the righteous. Okay, um, shall we go on to September song? When I was a young man courting the girl they played me a raging tale. If a maid refused me with a tossing curls, I'd let the old world take a couple of girls while I blithe her with tears in lieu of pearls. And as time came around, she came my way, 
as time came around, she came. But it's a long, long from May to December, and the days go short when you reach September and the autumn. And the leaves to play, and I learned the time for a waiting day. For the days dwindle down to a precious few.
song that isn't it were you all right with the verse on verse two do you get back there or are you finding the verse hard to sing in general because the verse at the beginning is it's a it goes all over the place it's quite yeah. good i'm glad we're not just doing um papa um papa all the time <laughs> good to have a few songs that challenge you and make make it a bit difficult uh mm. do you want me to just go through the, the beginning a little bit yeah. should we look should yeah. we look at verse two stuff um just in a bit more detail because we looked at verse one the last time but we didn't really look at verse two so when you meet with the young men Early in spring, they caught you in song and rhyme. They woo you with words and a clover ring. But if you examine the goods they bring, they have little to offer but the songs they sing and a plentiful waste of the time of day and a plentiful waste of time okay it's sort of it's this the the tune sort of folds in on itself Da di da 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 di da 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 di da 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 di da di da da di da 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 di da 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 ya da da ya da 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 di da 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 di ya da di. Um, do you see how um, what happens underneath you is all very. sort of very complex but actually the tune itself is is quite simple um so when you when you meet with a young man early in spring they caught you in song and rhyme they woo you with words and a clover ring but if you examine the goods they bring they have little to offer but the songs they sing and a plentiful waste of time of day a plentiful waste of time It's all the stuff underneath it that make that very complex. But actually, if you hold on to that little pattern, it's, it's not that difficult. Did that make a bit more sense? So um, this is a cabaret song from 1938, I think. Um, it's from the Knickerbocker holiday, but, but it, it's Kurt Weill is very much a, a kind of musical, you know, he wrote, um, uh, uh, Thrupani Opera and lots of the, and the Good Woman of Szechuan and those sort of um, wonderful musicals that are they're not they're not just happy um, mm -hmm. sort of uh, glamorous shows they're very they have a they have a weight to them and a bit of a dark side and yeah for this one the thing that's wonderful about that is that this this little the the that little it's like a little storm happening underneath and you're and you're trying to present as if 
This is what Weil does quite often, is he presents a very um, soothing line on top of something quite tumultuous um, as a way of showing internal struggle. And I think that's what happens here, is he's demonstrating that the guy, is, the guy singing is about, he's just singing about how things used to be in the old days when, when you had plenty of time and you didn't really care about wasting time. And you could, you could chase after a woman who's pretty unobtainable um, all you like because you had plenty of time. What else would you be doing? Um, so, uh, and then he then says in, this, in the main body of the song, it's um, when, the, you know, when you're in your autumn years, and suddenly you realize, oh my goodness me, how much time have I spent chasing all these things? Um, unobtainable women and stupid goals, life goals and things, when in fact I should just be enjoying what I have. And um, so, so I think that's sort of the, the underlying sort of subtext of this is that don't, don't squander it, but, but also, you know, uh, when you are young, you feel like you have all the time in the world. Um, uh, and I, I think it's, it's particularly pertinent at the moment where the attitude of the young people who are not at risk particularly are, you know, they're trying to go on with life as, as if nothing has changed. Um, I mean, the, the amount of um, people playing football on the, on the, on the um, pitch just outside my house uh, on an afternoon, it's, you know, there's definitely no social distancing going on. People are breathing and spitting and everything on top of each other. Um, and, you know, they're not at risk. So, so they don't really care. <laughs> um, but that kind of, it's the, it's the September people who are going, anyway, a bit too deep perhaps for a, for a, a Wednesday afternoon. Um, and in a way, what this is, when you think about it, it's slightly a bit of a seduction of an older man to a younger woman. So he's saying, you know, all these young bucks, what not, what not, but take your time with somebody who savors their time and, and you'll have a great, a great memory. Um, anyway, uh, the next song we're going to look at is um, a bit of Crowded House. Now, this was a very strange request coming from the house of Dave and Marie. Um, uh, I was quite surprised by that. Uh, the song um, didn't, it didn't feature on my, um, didn't feature anywhere in my kind of frame of reference. I don't know why it's, it skipped me by, um, but I, I love the song. Um, so. Waking round the room, singing stormy weather At 57 Mount Pleasant Street Well, it's the same room, but everything's different You can fight asleep, but you're not the dream Things ain't cooking my kitchen, strange afflictions will show over me. Julius Caesar and the Roman Empire couldn't conquer the blue Well, there's a small boat made of China. It's going nowhere on the mantelpiece. Well, do I lie like a lounge room lizard? Or do I sing like the bird release? Everywhere you go, you'll always take the weather with you. Everywhere you go. You'll always take the weather everywhere you go. You'll always take the weather with you everywhere you go. You'll always take the weather, the weather with you. Everywhere 
everywhere you go. Always take the weather with you everywhere you go. Always take the weather everywhere you go. Always take the weather with you everywhere you go. Always take the weather. Take the weather, the weather with you. Who knew that song before that? Five, six, five or six of you. Yeah, I, I, I seem to remember Crowded House being around then. So yeah, 1991. Was this their big number? So, was so um... Walking round the room, singing stormy weather at 57 Mount Pleasant Street. There's a lovely offbeatness about this. For one, two. Walking round the room, singing stormy weather at 57 Mount Pleasant Street. Well, it's the same room, but everything's different. You can fight the sleep, but not the dream. Okay, so those are the two main lines there at the beginning. The next little section, which I think of as a bridge, the cooking in the kitchen moment. So, things ain't cooking in my kitchen. Strange afflictions will show over me. Julius, uh, Julius Caesar, Julius Caesar, and the Roman Empire couldn't conquer the blue skies. Okay, you happy with that little section so far? Let's go. Let's sing um, from verse one. So you get this. Walking round the room, singing stormy weather at 57 Mount Pleasant Street. Well, it's the same room, but everything's different. You can find your sleep, but not the dream. Things ain't cooking in my kitchen. Strange afflictions wash over me. Julius Caesar and the Roman Empire couldn't conquer the blue sky. Well, there's a slow boat, small boat. Um, I always used to think it was um, slow boat to China. So now I've, I've realized that those are the wrong words. There was a small boat made of China. It's going nowhere on the mantelpiece. Well, do I lie like a lounge room lizard? Or do I sing like a bird released? Okay, so those are the that that's musically the same as right at the beginning. We're kind of at a new verse there. So, well, there's a small boat made of china. Chai is long and nut is shorter. Well, there's a small boat made of china. It's going nowhere on the mantelpiece. Well, do I lie like a lounge room lizard? And that makes me think um, in the 90s, there was a computer game called Larry the Lounge Lizard. Um, I don't know if you, don't know if any of you ever played Larry the Lounge Lizard. Um, it, was, it was quite a risque uh, computer game. I remember um, it came out in the in the early 90s um, and I was technically still not old enough to play it yet um, so uh, it was as as with all things illicit terribly exciting when I was able to um, so that that reminds me of that so well do I lie like a lounge room lizard 
Or do I sing like a bird really? Everywhere you go, you'll always take the weather with you. Everywhere you go, you'll always take the weather. Everywhere you go, you'll always take the weather with you. Everywhere you go, you'll always take the weather, the weather with you. And there we go. Everywhere you go, you'll always take the weather with you. Everywhere you go, you'll always take the weather. Everywhere you go, you'll always take the weather with you. Everywhere you go, you'll always take the weather, the weather with you. Etc. Okay. Happy with that? Very good, very good. Uh, last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to share um, share the Autumn Almanac very quickly with you before we, we sign off. I know we've gone over time, sorry about that. Um, but I think you'll be all right. Um, just, we'll just share Autumn Almanac and you can sing along with the kinks. Just oh. have a little listen to this. Can you hear that? From the view so hedge creeps a curly caterpillar. Well, the dawn begins to crack. It's all part of my autumn almanac. Breeze blows leaves of the musty colour jello. So I sweep them in the sack. Yes, 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 it's my awesome almanac. Friday evenings, people get together, hiding from the weather. Tea and toasted buns and coral buns. Not to compensate for lack of sun, because the summer's all gone. Okay. Um, all right. 
So we'll have a little go at that next week now that I've had a bit of notice and as to how that goes. Um, but yes, um, great, great suggestion. Uh, keep them coming. Keep them coming. We've got lots, lots of opportunities to sing more songs. So <laughs> good stuff. Thank you very much. All right. I'm going to say goodbye to everybody. Thank you very much.